What's going on guys? So first off, I just want to say Merry Christmas. I'm posting this on Christmas Day. Hopefully you guys are watching this uh, all cozied up with your friends and family. Maybe you just got done you know, ripping open all your packages and you're sipping some eggnog watching a Christmas story. Um, or maybe you were doing none of that because you don't celebrate Christmas. <laughs> you're watching the video anyway. Regardless, I hope everyone who does celebrate has a wonderful Merry Christmas and very, very safe travels. All right, it's something that's very important. A lot of people travel quite a bit, whether you're jumping in a car for a short car ride or going on a plane to a different part of the, the country or who knows, maybe around the world. Um, hope everyone has safe travels back as well. So today, because it's Christmas, I wanted to focus on one of my favorite Christmas movies. I'm a, you know, a huge Christmas buff. I, I just, I love everything Christmas and so, when the topic of Christmas comes up, of course, I think about Christmas songs. Uh, I think about food you eat around Christmas and the holidays. I think about Christmas movies. It's just part of it. And one of my favorite movies, of course, is the Home Alone series. Now, although this is, uh, you know, grounds for arguments, I do find I like Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, just a little bit more than the first one, which is uh, rare. It's rare that people like the sequel, you know, as opposed to the uh, the original but then, of course, I have the other Home Alones as well without Macaulay Culkin in it. But, uh, you know, I watch them all. But uh, the first two, of course, have a, a special thing uh, for me. I just love seeing the movies. And in part two, there is a knife. And that's what we're looking at today. We're actually looking right now at two knives, and there's a story behind this. So on the left here is the Wenger Matterhorn, and on the right is a Wenger Tool Chest Plus. Now, of course, the uh, proper pronunciation is probably more like Wenger. Uh, but I say wanger because I'm just an American dude. Um, so here's the story behind this. Uh, I was watching um, Lost in New York last year, and I knew that I wanted to get the knife. I just wanted the knife in my, my collection. I, I love different knives and different movies. And uh, I wanted to figure out exactly what model it was, and uh, I wanted to buy it. So I started doing some research. I actually printed out the screen caps from the movie. All right, so if you're not familiar with the movie, he's outside of the um, uh, the toy store, Duncan's Toy Chest. All right, and he's looking down at this map. So here's one of the shots we have of the knife. All right, and then you get the opposite side. It goes down to the Manhattan map, and you can see another angle of the knife. There's actually a third angle of the knife when he's buying it. He puts the uh, the knife and the whatever it was, bubble bath or toothpaste, I forget what it was, with the little monster on, on the head and the map on the uh, the desk at the uh, the register. So that's a, a third angle, which I didn't print because I couldn't find it easily. Um, but so I started, I, you know, kind of studying that a little bit and uh, I was convinced that it was this knife right here. This is the Tool Chess Plus. Now, maybe it's subconscious because I quote a lot of these different Christmas movies <laughs> with uh, Christina. And the one thing I always quote, like if we hear a weird noise, like randomly, it doesn't even have to be around Christmas time. I might say something like, that was the sound of a tool chest coming down the stairs. And uh, the reason I say that is because that's a scene in the movie where both guys are behind the door and they're listening to the door and there's literally a, like a giant tool chest falling down the stairs. And it hits them, you know, slams them into the wall and their noses are all crooked and stuff. And that's when Marv says that line. So I quote that line all the time. So maybe something in the back of my mind was like, oh, tool chest, sure, that makes sense. Uh, really what I was looking for was this specific style of magnifying glass. That's what he's using in the tool. He's using the magnifying glass to look at the map, which is probably unnecessary. Uh, I don't see the, the advantage of that. He's a young kid. I'm sure he could see fine. Um, and even when he's looking at the map, he's looking just like at the picture here. It's not like he's trying to read something. But anyway, uh, besides the point, you can see, although there are a ton of tools in here, this also has the magnifying glass, okay? And you can also see the uh, the chain Okay, with the little split ring on it. So if you look at this picture and you orientate this properly, that looks like the knife, right? I mean, it could be. I thought it was. So I tracked this knife down, the uh, the Tool Chest Plus, and uh, I got it. I, I got it off eBay. I forget what I actually paid for it, but um, I thought it was a cool addition to the collection anyway. There's a, a bunch of awesome tools in here. Um, and I was showing Christina. I'm like, oh yeah, I finally got the knife from uh, from Home Alone. And so she, uh, we were, I guess we were watching the movie. I forget if I was showing her pictures of the actual movie. And, but at some point she's like, no, nah, no, that's not the one. That's not the same knife. I'm like, what are you talking about? You know? So that's when I had to dive into it further. That's when I actually printed the picture. 
uh, not this one, I reprinted this in the video, but I printed the picture back then and I'm, like, and I'm really scrutinized looking at it. She's like, no, no, look, you can count the spaces here uh, for how many tools there are. And after looking at all this, I was devastated because she was 100% right. She got me. She's like, no, that's not, that's not it, it's something else. So I was totally bummed, to be honest, because I, I really thought I had the right knife. Even though this is very cool for the collection, I love collecting all different types of multi-tools, this was not it. After extensive research, and this topic has not been discussed too much before, there was one short thread about it on, I think, multitools.org, um, or at least one of the multi-tool forums, and those people on the forum said they thought it was a tool chest plus as well. Okay, so I'm not the only person that maybe thought that originally. Um, but under further investigation, it did in fact turn out to be the Matterhorn, specifically this knife, to the T. This is the exact knife that is used in the movie. All right, and by the way, both of these are long discontinued. So if we look at this now, okay, you can see how this is. Let me zoom in a little. You see the orientation, the spacing and the tools, everything. If you look at this, you, I mean, again, count all the spaces, all the, all the actual spacers. This is it. This is the exact knife that Kevin McAllister uses in Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. So I finally had it. Um, it's super cool, I do love it. I actually, it's funny because I went on eBay to find this Manhattan map as well because I thought it'd be a cool combination as like, you know, a prop. Um, but I think this was changed. I, I found Manhattan maps from the time period of the filming of the movie and nothing had this exact front on it. I'm not gonna go into detail here, but the Statue of Liberty and they do look similar to this, but not with the Statue of Liberty. So I don't know if like a props person put this on there to make it different. I don't really know, but I don't care that much about it. I gave up on trying to find, you know, the real map to go with the real knife. But anyway, that's my, uh, my little story there. My wife uh, knew more about knives than I did. Um, but hey, what can you say? Can't win them all. <laughs> so I got close, but not close enough. Uh, she had figured out, and I give her full credit, uh, the exact knife from the movie. In which case, I did go back on eBay and got to a little bidding war and uh, eventually got one for the uh, the collection here. So, super, super cool knife. I mean, obviously, it's a very wonderful, usable knife, long discontinued, but it has a, a special place in my little Christmas heart because of this movie. So, you know, this year, I broke out the knife, watched the movie just like a dork. I, I do that all the time with knives or guns or, you know, now with silver and stuff and, and <laughs> different pieces. Uh, for movies, you know, sitting there actually holding the item, the exact item that is in the scene you're watching in a favorite movie is just kind of special. Like I said, it's kind of geeky, but I'm, I'm all about it. I love it. So I am proud to say that I, I have Kevin McAllister's uh, knife now in the, uh, the collection. So yeah, if you're ever looking for that knife, that's what it is, a Winger Matterhorn. Good luck finding them. They are out there. You will pay a little bit more money for them these days because of the collectors and stuff. I'll tell you real quick, an aside, watching Christmas movies and being obsessed with Christmas movies, I still want the Tasmanian Devil mug from um, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. And if you look at those on eBay, the exact mugs are like 200 bucks or something because everyone realized that, that that's the exact mug. And, and the price has skyrocketed because of the nostalgia. I mean, it really should be a $5 mug or even like a 50 cent mug at a garage sale. Who cares about an old Tasmanian Devil mug? But because of that movie, because of the connections that people make with their memories and, and you know, different, different things that they, they enjoyed as a kid or in their youth. Um, in this particular case, this specific movie, like I love all Victor Knox knives, I love all uh, Wenger knives, all multi-tools across the board. I like them all. But there's a very specific connection. When I saw this scene again, and, and this is the, you know, thousandth time I've seen this scene, I thought to myself, I'm a knife guy. I got a knife collection. I have a multi-tool collection. I want that knife. It wasn't just a, you know, a discontinued knife. It was the knife from one of my favorite movies at Christmas time. You know, so it put a lot more value on this particular item because of that connection. Same as that mug puts a lot of value. It, you know, the actual mug isn't worth much, but to people, it's nostalgia. They want to watch that movie, be drinking coffee, you know, out of that cup, watching Chevy Chase, <laughs> tell every one of those businessmen, you know, to go shove it. And honestly, it's kind of funny because, you know, some people just don't care. You know, there's a bunch of people like, you know, you guys watching this video, you might be into knives. I mean, there's a good chance you're into knives if you're watching this video. Um, and so you would put the same value. Be like, yeah, I love that movie. I wish I could have that knife. But there's still a bunch of people who are going to see this video and, and think, who cares? Who cares? That's stupid. You know what I mean? Just like that mug. Who cares? That's stupid. Why would you want the mug from the movie? You know, whatever. But I'm into it, you know, and I think a lot of people are into it. But, um, you know, it's just one of those things. 
So anyway, I wanted to share this uh, this fun find for me anyway, and have a, a, a nice Christmas-related knife video for Christmas. Anyway, just wanted to uh, share that little story with you. I finally have Macaulay Culkin's knife from Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Very excited about it to add it to the collection. But after striking out, so I do give full credit and a, a nice uh, golf clap uh, to the wife for totally correcting me. It's funny because it would be priceless if you saw my face because I'm like, no, no, this is the one. You got you know, and then she's like, no, look how it's hanging. Look at the spade. Look at, and I was wrong. I was totally wrong. So, you know, she's a, she's a very smart woman and uh, she steered me in the right direction and finally got <laughs> the exact knife from the movie. So I thought that was a funny uh, story to be able to share. And I always have that story whenever I break the knife out. And I will. I will break it out every single year and play around with it, carry it around Christmas time. Just makes it fun. Makes the whole thing fun. You know, when you're into these different hobbies, why do you do it? You do it because it's fun. You know, so having an extra little story or an extra little meaning to something just makes it that much more enjoyable. So anyway, that's my story. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you have a wonderful, very Merry Christmas with your families. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I will say, it is Christmas. I'll probably get a couple things here and there. I'll certainly show my loot the Christmas loot uh, in an upcoming video. Uh, but for now, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.